Hello. 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 Moshi moshi. Mush mush. Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome to the Monday morning stream. Where we stream things what we do. And we ask you How was your weekend? How was how was your day? If you are at the end of a day. How you doing? Where are you going? What are you looking at? Oh no, I'm too fast. I'm too fast. A problem that no one has ever had before. I thought it solved this though. Oh, solved the speed. Yeah, I thought that was too fast. Aha! You got the right control the first time. Oh no, my mouth! Your mouth isn't working. Oh no! Your mouth should be working. Oh no! No. Oh no! Do your eyebrows. Do your blinkies. Hi, 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 hi. Those are working. Yeah. It's just my... my mouth. The problem area. Okay. Oh, what's this? <laughs> it was a page for me. <laughs> Doink, do you get it? I get it. It's the lady with the this, this square hole in the every shape peg. That's amazing. And it's Junji Ito. <laughs> That's incredible. Thank this you, is whoever. My hole. It was made for me. <laughs> whoever has, uh, has blessed us with this, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Big Bad Super of Darkness. I did something different with my hair today. <laughs> ah! How's, how's it going? Oh Where'd no! Go? BC Encrypted said, I just realized tonight why I only had half the King Soul on my Hollow Knight save. My save data had gotten balked and I had to redo everything. That's terrible. Oh, <gasps> wait. Hey, my mouth is working now. Maybe what? you're just close enough to the microphone. No, it's not working when I'm in default state, but it's working when I have an expression on. Huh. huh. The plot thickens. Huh. Look, it works in every single other position. Just not, just not default. Onster, Onster! Hi, Onster. My mouth isn't working properly, but hello. Hello, Onster. I watched uh, you play Sonic Frontiers yesterday. I watched it. I was excited to see when you typed to us in chat on your stream. <laughs> I was excited. How was your, how was your beef ball? Oh yeah, oh yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, guess what? This Friday, Onster and Doig and me, we're all gonna play D&D &D with Tobisco for charity. Yay. I retweeted it, there's, there's a tweet about it. I retweeted it on my Twitter account. If anyone wants to come and hang out and watch, then we'll be doing it. We're doing it live. I'm scared, but also excited. I've never done D&D &D in front of people live before. And I have no clue if I might I might completely bulk everything up, but I hope it'll be fun to watch. It's going to be live. Yeah. I never D and D live before either. No, me. <laughs> I'm not very entertaining. But I've always in wanted to. Yeah, that's very untrue, actually. Every single game that I've played with Mike has always been. He's always been an absolute blast. Every no, single character. That. Every single no, character no, no, he's no, played no, has no, been no, super no. memorable. Hey, it might change. But like, I think I've played three campaigns with you, or th well, not campaigns, but three sessions with you, with different characters. Yeah, I just made you laugh. On one, he was a tiny robot, which was a wizard, which was amazing. On another, he was Bumblebur, the droid, who was amazing. And then wasn't there another one? Uh, well, that yeah, was a, I was what well, the cat monk. 
Yeah, and then on another he was a cat monk, which was amazing. Because he got all the movement. He could run like... Like, 60 feet around or something, or 120 if he dashed. It was ridiculous. Oh, Ironoki says, I have sad news. For 10 years I've kept little Pokemon figures on my dashboard. It was all my favourite friends. They're the Tomy figures, so they're a little rare. Not really worth much, but hard to get. This weekend, a Prowler got into our apartment's garage and snatched all of them. <gasps> no way! What the heck? Who? And other stuff from other people's cars. Who does that? I will recollect them. It'll be all right, but I'm super bummed and sad. Turns out Team Rocket is real and a big, huge jerks. Oh my gosh, you got Team Rocketed. Oh, dude, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, here they are. Man. Oh, that sucks. They're so cool. Why would someone take those? Like, when you can see that something is, like, obviously something which is personal to someone. Like, these obviously would have sentimental value. If you're gonna, like, rob money or something, can't you leave the sentimental stuff? Like, you know it's not gonna be worth that much. They'd probably be like, my kids will love these. Just leave it. Jeez, that sucks. That really sucks. I'm, I'm really sorry. I hope that that you're able to replace them, even though I know that even if you replace them, it won't necessarily be the same. Because those figures had history. They traveled with you places. They stole a lot of stuff from a lot of cars. I guess they just had a bag and just swiped and didn't even really look at what they were taking. I mean, at least they left the cars, I guess. At least the entire car wasn't gone. Yeah, that's true. Who's a little floaty person? These are these are our mods. So this is Martina. They're little ghosties, and uh, they float around the overlay when they when they are here in chat. So today we have Martina with us. Oh, and there's Pal. Pal just apparated in. <laughs> he apparated. So this is Pal Bro fella in chat, Diagonally. and this is Martina in chat. Uh, there they are. Hello. Yeah, sorry, India. I was say hi, guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Not you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Doug, what were you saying? Yeah, I changed the way our movement works because I wanted to try and get it to hook into slow motion. You heard me. Oh yeah. Oh slow yeah. Motion. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> Are you gonna show us? Uh yes. You ready? Got, almost. I'm gonna get ready to dodge. Dodge what? Whatever you might be throwing at us. It's slow motion. Mm -hmm. You can't dodge time. You'll see. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. Ha. <laughs> slow motion. Oh, here I go. <laughs> You need to throw a bomb and activate it. Oh, okay. There we go, yeah! And then he didn't activate it. That's okay. It would have been very cool to see everything blow out in slow motion, but never mind. Was that another thing? Whoop! Oh no! Oh no! Get away! Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> so many bombs now! Get the books! Get the books! Get the books! Explode! <laughs> this is very cool. This is very cool, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, these are huge bombs. So Mike's done a thing where... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's done a thing where the bombs get bigger depending on how long you've been subscribed for. So for those who have been subscribed for only a month or so, the bombs are like regular size. And for people who've been subscribed for like 20 months, the bombs get a percentage bigger for every month. 
Yeah, Kiryu is weighty. He's like super heavy. Ninja grab. Ninja throw. Ah! <laughs> 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 I like how we can still activate everything like on our faces in real time. Yeah, they're not tied to. It's cool, man. I like it. So you did this so you could capture big bombs, right? Are you going to automate it at some point? Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm catching up on Onster who's saying... <laughs> <laughs> you I've got to like retweet it too. <laughs> We're doing it. It's going to be fun. Yes. Nice pal, bro. And Pissy Encrypted says, oh my gosh, you guys are going to have a blast. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm excited about it. I can't believe that Sonic Frontiers is still so good. It's still so good. I, don't, I think you're. I think it's the same for a lot of people because people keep asking, "Hey, what did you think of Sonic Frontiers?" Yeah, I, I love it. I love it more every day. Onsta says, "Injury, I have to yell about things." Me too. How much have you played, Onsta? Me too. How much have you played? We need to. We need to arrange a post Frontiers stream. Oh, you want to yell about? You want to yell about? Like only halfway through Knuckles. Oh, so okay, okay. You want to yell about it? Theory stuff. Okay, that's cool. Let's do it. Oh, I just realized this is the also, extended, um, extended edition of the Green Hill Zone. Let me, let me, let me change it up a little bit. Also, I was very satisfied to see Onsta also have a lot of trouble with running up the spiral thing that falls down as you run up it. Onsta, I had exactly the same thing as you. I spent like, I spent like five minutes just dying and going back to it again and again and again and again. Being like, how the, how, how fast do I need to go? I'm so confused. Nothing seems to work. I was like, okay, I feel less dumb since Onsta also was like, what, how do I do this? <laughs> I, I think I missed the part where you did the uh, the first level that you encounter Sky Sanctuary on but there's a bit in there too at the beginning where you're jumping over platforms that are rotating and I, kept, I died so much on those just something about the way that the jump was operating at that point like just threw me through a loop i could not land properly i, I, I just kept flying off <laughs> yeah also this has, has how the jump isn't connected to the boost how you boost and then jump and that means that you lose your boost and have to reboost when you hit the ground i was doing the same thing as you i was like trying to jump to gain ground but finding that i was just not being fast enough you feel much better about it yeah yeah i was i was having a a time on it that's for sure i got <laughs> i got to the stage it was like you spent six minutes on this and i was like oh <laughs> that was just all me trying to get around that thing and then the stage ends directly after it and you're like damn it <laughs> the ending was right there where, where you are in today uh glim i'm glim. gonna animate glim, some glim, glim. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Invisible thing is pushing me down. Yeah. Invisible cannon going through floor. Uh, I will fix that, but I'll fix it in 2.0. That's fine. Do, do, stand on the invisible gun. <laughs> Invisic cannon! What is this? Invisic guy's place? Hi, Kiryu. <laughs> What's up? Ah. Oh. Onster, we need to send him back to you. Yeah. Uh, he's too much trouble. You need to send him back to you. Like, our joint custody agreement said that you get him on weekdays, so, like, we need to send him back. <laughs> we'll, we'll send him to you now. We'll send. Go on, go on, Kiryu. Be free. Okay, he's coming to you, Monster. <laughs> he's flying across the sky to catch you him. now. He's spreading his wings. <laughs> yes, so you catch him. You catch him. I'm just assuming you're down there underneath us, waiting for Kiryu. He crushed me! <laughs> Your dream! Okay, you ready to head over? Almost. I need to put my screen share on and then I'll be ready. Okay, I think I've got screen share on now. I think I'm I think I'm good. 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 Okay. Oh, the dudes are back. I assumed that was Doig. I was like, is that something he did with his mouth? I'm just going to assume so. No, I would never toot with my mouth. Oh, you would never. Let me check what's on your screens. Check what's on my screen. Don't show them things they can't see. <laughs> nice. Oh no, Carpal says I was following Kiryu. I guess I died again. <laughs> oh no. Are we quiet? I don't know. Are we quiet, guys? Tell us if no, we are. I, I think the parts are kind of quiet to them. Invisible popcorn. Floating across the screen. I can't see anything on your NDI, by the way. Oh, let me shake my mouse. There it goes. There we go. Uh, I can't see anything on on your screen in terms of the overlay. Yeah. Okay. Ba 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 da ba. That's why they call me Swifty. Ooh wow. Oh. I am riding a bike! Look at that link! Oh, thank you! <laughs> thank you, that's sweet. I need to remember today to take some pictures of some stickers so we can put them on our website since we failed. We failed to conquer Thought Bubble. Yeah, and you, you got all these. I got all, all this stuff made. I made for it. Megaboss says the Frontier streams are really fun. Thank you. I'm really happy that you're enjoying them. That's really awesome to hear. Thanks. I've been really having a blast doing them. I'm even more impressed now that we have a uh, now that we have a charging cable next to my desk, 
so I can make sure that the iPhone doesn't run out of charge for like the third time in the row. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're getting the hang of it. We'll figure out this streaming thing at some point. Answer says, I've been losing my mind. Good. Me too. I just can't believe how good it is. It's just, it's just so good. It's real good. I'm having such a good time. It doesn't feel like I should be having as good a time as I am. I'm like, what, what bad luck is coming down the road to equal this out? <laughs> the last overlay stream was really good, says Pablo. Yeah. Multiple stackable things. Oh, what? The one with the sandwiches? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad I missed that one. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that I definitely, like, got my work in. So I took that morning to be like, gotta, gotta go, f gotta board fast. No worries, indeed. Ooh, careful, Kuma. Kuma knocking everything off the desk. Pilky says, did you get that burger you wanted, dog? <laughs> well, you know that food poisoning. Uh <laughs> <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Sit in a way, it's all your fault for throwing so many sandwiches. <laughs> like too many a burger. Pal says, Inji, do like me and watch the VOD. Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Yeah. Yeah, it was unfortunate, guys. It was just like serendipitous, but in the unfortunate way. Yeah. It was from the burger. Too many mukbang. Too, too much borg. Get borged. Hey, what are you eat? It better not be a burger. I, sorry, I gotta go lift my cat and just hug him. Bear, bear back. Aww, cute. No. You made the bear go green, greener than usual. It's true. It's true. It sucks even more because it's like dog's favorite place. Like his absolute favorite. says I blame Kevin and Kawa for making me addicted to vampire survivors I can't stop playing it what's vampire survivors pray tell TikTok, it auto plays. Why did Sorry. you open TikTok? Because I put up that Sonic clip on TikTok. And I was Why would you her. do that? <laughs> I just want to open TikTok. You put the Sonic clip up. Yeah. Aww. I hope people like it. It's not doing numbers. <laughs> it's got like 10 views it's got and a download. It's just 40. But... <laughs> Fuck you. I kind of hate TikTok a little bit. I think it's very good for animation. I think it's less good just for putting stream clips up on. Unless you're a very popular streamer already. Yeah, maybe. But you're so cute. And I really like the I mean, thumbnail. You are a little bit biased. On how cute you think I am. I'm sorry, but this thumbnail is it's good. But it says TikTok is a dangerous place. But I got a question for you. 
So say that today is the last day that a t-shirt is going to be available for people to order. <laughs> what would you do? What would you do, Vert? We haven't prepared anything in advance. How can we best take advantage of of like letting people know about it? What would you recommend? Just off the top of your dome. Look. Oh, wide world. Swifty's thoughts on Sonic. Yes. Exactly. Did you even look at what's on the screen? Yes. <laughs> I did. And I repeated it because I agree. <laughs> I agree with yesterday, me. Yes. I still stand by. God says, cr I'm crying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this sums up all of my thoughts on Frontiers in their entirety. One thought only. Bert <laughs> <laughs> says it's hard to fix the marketing on the last day. Yes, this is true. Okay, month in advance, huh? It's more just like letting people know that it exists and that today is the last day. Like, what would be th the best way to do that at this point? The wide world. What he says. One of the big, one of the issues is that it's a very, very niche product. Yes. It is very, very niche. It is very, very niche. It's a sick design, though. But may, may, maybe that we'll just we'll just chalk it up and it's done. We we'll just chalk it up. As a as a something that cost us money but was fun. Oh right, yeah. I just was wondering what you meant by chalk it up. Well, usually. No, but yeah, I know what you mean now. You meant chalk it up to a loss. Yeah. You just didn't finish the sentence, so I was like, what does he mean, chalk it up? Oh, the Twitch notification says you're still playing Sonic. <laughs> I am playing it in my brain right now. Does it? No, I it changed it. It should be Animation Breakfast Club. Did I not hit done? What does the stream say? No. Did I, did I goof? It's okay, dog. Don't worry, you can just change it now. So do you think we shouldn't we shouldn't worry about letting people know about it? We should just take it off the store. It says art, art, art now. Oh, nice. Martina says I had to change your title in game. Martina, you maze me. Okay, let me just hit done on that. Then. You maze me. I changed it all. Every day I'm more mazed. No, like if Martina says she had to change it, like it should be, it should have been animation breakfast club. Good Adam morning. Bert Art. says, Bert says I actually think it was too niche of a product to be a viable product. It looks cool, but it's way too niche. No, I refuse to accept this. I refuse. We do it again next year. Damn it. I will have, I will have my creepy pasta t-shirts. Mega Boss says, look at me, extremely happy with my shirt. Yes! <laughs> happy customer. Yes! I also am. But I also get what Vert is saying. And Vert is not wrong. Not even the slightest. Kill got like 1.2 thousand views. I would have projected something like 10 cells based on the numbers. I think Correct. that's about right. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you're about on the money with that, but yeah. I won't tell you guys how much money I put into it, but I will say it was worth it for me personally. Because uh, I think it's extremely cool. Yeah, maybe we can release it again next Halloween or something. <laughs> Oh, maybe. Maybe it can be a Halloween exclusive thing where every Halloween we release, like, the shirt of that year and the previous shirts. I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. Um, just because I really love the design and I really wanted to do it. So I was aware that it was maybe not something we were going to be able to make any money back on. 
but it was just something I wanted to do and something I wanted to own. In that case, if you think it's uh, there's no point kind of trying to push it to Deva, then I might just take it off uh, after the stream and call it Dunzo. And we'll do better next time. So now it's a very exclusive limited edition shirt. Oh. <laughs> Ayanoki says, well, by next Halloween, you'll have like 30,000 followers and new people will have to learn about Kihon and get a t-shirt. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Um. <laughs> Did Tony Midi have opinions on the Kill Hill story? Uh, no, they didn't say anything about the story, but I was incredibly impressed with all the little nods they put to it in the design. So they definitely read it. Because there was stuff in there that, like, I didn't ask them for, and they just they put in. Um, so I was like floored by that. Like they added the tree with the like beehive on it and everything, and the skull in the in the mountain. <laughs> Hell no! Nah. What the fuck going down in Atlanta? <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh I love it. it's just an Evangelion I saw I sent India a video of a mod someone's done that they put in Evo, uh, unit 1 yeah it's it's incredibly cool <laughs> look at all these cool little roughs these little rough glums. You still haven't sent me the video of this. <sighs> I've been asking for months. Okay. You know what's something that you could do that would make me do it faster? What? And stop you from having to ask me. What? Put up a whiteboard and write it on the whiteboard and put the whiteboard where my workstation is. Okay. If you ever have a request of me, just stick it on the whiteboard. Okay. Because as soon as I start thinking about anything else, your request is going to go out of my brain completely and I'm going to forget about it. All right, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Kiryu goes super Yakuza and beats up Evil One. <laughs> That's so Yakuza. I say having never played the games. That's exactly like that thing that happens in Yakuza, probably. Try to stop me, motherfucker. India and Ansu Yakuza stream when? No joke, Dog and I were saying yesterday that we should do a Yakuza stream where we have Ansu like a tour guide. Ansu is just with us and uh, can, can help us through the game. But it would of course depend on whether Ansu would like to and whether she's available to do so. Give us a, a tour of Japan in Yakuza and tell us all about Kiryu. Doug and Swift finally visit Onster and Kiryu in Japan. <laughs> Onster says, oh, look, I'm clawing at the windows. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Onster says, me and Kiryu can give you a tour. I'd love that. That'd be so cool. I feel like that would be the most fun way to experience the game. Dogen Swift joined the Yakuza. Oh, 
Like how they suddenly go from blobs into actual glums. I might need to... Do I need to refine that transition a little bit? Probably. Okay. I could do with shrinking these guys down. Oh, oh, oh. Let's just put a little sneaky claw behind the head there to imply that this little guy is climbing up. This one always reminded me a little bit of a lullaby. There's something very lullaby-esque about it. And you'll go to sleep Tomorrow's going to bring joy To you Yay! I figured it, I've got, I got, I got the right screen up. Oh yeah, India. Oh yeah? I made you do the puffer fish, <laughs> but it wasn't very good, so I didn't end up putting it in yet. <laughs> oh, we could make it better though. Yeah. Like, it's a good basis. Wow. I think one thing is you need to make the mouth smaller, because the cheeks are just blowing out, but nothing's happening to the mouth. Oh, you're right. But that might be how the blend shit works, I'll have to check. Ansta says it's very rhythmic and like I think it's tilting in the stage too. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you were talking about the music, but I'm starting to believe that maybe you aren't <laughs> talking about the music. Yeah, no, you are talking about the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, isn't it? It's got that very repetitive rhythm where it's like a metronome. Dum. 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 Like the emphasis on the beats falls in the same place every time. So it does kind of feel like it's rocking you to sleep. The hamster swift. Yes. The only bird that stores food in its cheeks rather than its beak. How is the Mikey boy doing? He's good now. Yeah, yeah I think it was he's a, good. Once everything was expelled, I was fine. <laughs> let's just say let's put it that way. Say the ears. Super reminds me of everywhere I go, I that's what everyone I see, I could see your face staring back at me. But it's a sonic stage. Maybe. <laughs> Boy just going. <laughs> He woke me up at like 5 a.m. just yelling in my ear. Really? Just yelling in my straight in my ear, just yelling. Him uh, him or her? Him. <laughs> then he went and sat a distance away such that I couldn't reach him and continued yelling. So I had to literally get up and pick him up to like hug him. <laughs> Wanna play? Wanna play? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Wanna yeah, he play? was like, purr, 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 purr. Okay, now let me go play. Wanna play? You're up. <laughs> You're up now. <coughs> of course. Go back to bed. 
stands in doorframe and screams. Ah, cat jump on me. Ah. Also says it's a really sad Jack as a song. That's essentially a slow version of this. <gasps> I want to hear it. I'll have to wait. India woke up. She and Doig were on safari. She was on the hunt for the elusive Swifty bird. She was determined to spot it. Some people said it was the same bird call as India. India woke up. She and Doig were on safari. She was on the hunt for the elusive Swifty bird. I'm, I'm she was hunting my own kind. To spot it. Some people said it has the same bird call as India out in the wild. Maybe if Doig and Swift listened very intently during the stream, they would hear the bird call. <laughs> there it was! The call core and the fart! Oh, I knew it. Beautiful. So melodious. So It's just so sonorous. Look, India. It, it, it's it's your bird. It's your, it's the it's the room. I'm making it. Answer sent is a yak as a song. There's essentially this slowed down. Is it okay to play on stream? Oh, will we get stricken down by Sega tonight? Tonight. <laughs> Everywhere I go, everyone I see. Yeah, let's do it. Is that the sound of someone inputting the buttons? <laughs> the drummer's just like... Uh, 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 uh. This is the karaoke sound! It sounds like... It sounds like someone like is trying to drum along but doing a bad job. Like, the drummer for the band was out that night and they had to just get like the nephew of one of the band members to come and stand in. That's you trying to support him! You got this on stuff. You are the nephew. <laughs> I hear it! It's beautiful. Everywhere I go, everyone I see. I can see your face staring back at me. <laughs> Frantic drumming. Yakuza really is having the good music. I want to drive along a long, long street to this. You know. The wind through my feathers! <laughs> oh, hi, Raiders! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome! Oh no, it's the end! I was I ready for another verse and chorus. <laughs> Hey Alex, thank you so much for the subscription. Alex said it's Friday night. <laughs> oh, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful fanfare. <laughs> Wait, what's how does Friday night go? Oh no. I don't know how it goes. I forgot. I feel like I've heard it before. <laughs> Answer says ba da 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 <laughs> Thanks, Oster. That helps.
bam 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 <laughs> I don't know where I'm going but I'm coming home to you I'm taking the train at half past two in the afternoon <laughs> don't know where I'm going but I'm coming home to you choo choo I'm taking train at half past two don't know where I'm going is this another of those India came up with a song <laughs> when she was a child and this is it one maybe <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't help what my brain does when I hear a melody. I'm taking the train at half past two tomorrow night. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but it's gonna be alright. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Help me. The tunes, they won't stop my brain. It just, it sounds like that kind of song, you know. The kind of song that you'd get like in the 60s or 70s. From like Herman's Hermits or something. It's because the, all these songs have such good melodic hooks to them. It's very easy yeah. to just like fill in the gaps with whatever, like whatever garbage you want. They've got such strong basis, basises for melodies already. You're waiting for the day I tried to freestyle hip hop, but kill it. It's never gonna happen. I should secretly practice. And if I secretly practice, I feel like at some point I will be slightly better than people expect. <laughs> I feel like that is going to be the cap on my skill level. Oh, this says, Inja, let's make a rap album. I feel like there's certain people who have very good voices for rap and certain people who don't. And I feel like I'm the type of person where trying to sound kind of streetwise and hip sits so fundamentally against the way that I sound <laughs> that it's almost impossible for me to pull anything like that off. You'd be great. Oh, honestly, you're so sweet. You always believe in me. You'll make me weep. <laughs> I would love to though. I'd love to do anything musical. I love music. And honestly, I wouldn't even care if like, I wasn't that great at it. Cause I don't mind laughing at myself. We can cover all of Knuckles' songs. <gasps> the the Onster and India version of Unknown from Master Emerald. That'd be amazing. Oh, I'd love that. I've never asked Onsta, do you sing much? Not really, that's fair, I just never asked you. It's like sometimes when someone's like, oh, by the way, I do a bit of singing on the side and you're like, oh, cool. And then they send you a link and they're like, effing incredible. And you're like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> You can you can do this? So I'm like I should just ask people. For India. you, you'll I'll try. Oh my gosh. India, how would you get I'm into integrate. your crow's nest? How do I enter my crow's nest? A little ladder. This is okay. Or a little <laughs> or a little basket that I sit in and then there's a handle that I crank and it pulls a rope up. That's elaborate as 
fridge. Honestly says I carried around a guitar in high school for a year once. Does that count? Are you one of the people who carried around a guitar as a conversation starter? <laughs> Me too. I was like, now nah, people will think I am cool and want to talk to me. <laughs> Behold! <laughs> Behold my squire beginner's knockoff fender. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know how to talk to people. You know what? You said something on a stream which really connect with, connected with me the other day. I can't remember which stream it was but you said that you were the kind of kid who was like they would try and make friends by giving people gifts and you would end up just giving all your stuff away that you actually liked to try and make friends that that was also me I would try and make friends by giving people my Pokemon cards <laughs> I was like, I want to show them that I like them, but I don't know how to do it. How do I show I want this friendship to continue? I'll just give them my Mewtwo. <laughs> I'll just give them my Mewtwo. And then never talk to them again. And then they've got to know, right? And your Game Boy Micro. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I just didn't know what to do with myself if I wanted to be friends with someone. I'll just give them my Pokemon cards and then never invite them over again because it's their move now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the it's their move now got me. Yeah, it's like, oh... I, I don't know if this person likes me. I feel awkward invite them over again because what if they say no? So now I've got to wait for them to invite me. I once ended a friendship over a bacon sandwich. <laughs> Doi. <Don't worry. laughs> was it because of a bacon sandwich? I, I mean, did, did they give you one? Did you give them one? What? Okay, so wait. I've heard. I know this story. Oh, I'm playing know, dumb. Yeah, but you know. The chat story. might not. So okay. Yeah, when I was a kid, um, then I we like we had a neighbor for for a bit, and uh, they ended up moving um across town, but because my parents were um separated, my mom lived in the same town but across town, so they ended up moving closer to my mom. Um. So we would still hang out, and during the summer holidays one time, he basically like spent at least like at least a week. In my head, I might elaborate, but he spent at least a week at my house. Um, it might have even been like ten days, two weeks, kind of thing. Like basically, we just hung out during the summer, and uh, <laughs> um, there, there there came a point where like. Uh, I think it was like, okay, I, I, you know, I've stayed at your house. Let's go hang out at your house. And I think we might have spent like either the night or, or something. I can't, I can't remember what it was. But after he'd been at my house for like a week or whatever, my mom had been like giving him meals. We'd just been eating together. We'd just been hanging out. It was pretty cool. And then... <laughs> went over to stay at his house and I, I think I'd like not had breakfast or something it got into like lunchtime and I was like man I'm hungry um and he like we're outside at the park outside of his house and he disappears okay so I'm like hanging out with his brother we're like oh cool cool and then eventually I'm just like where the, where the hell did he go I went inside and he was eating a bacon sandwich and I was like oh and I kind of turn and I'm just like, oh, cool, bacon sandwich. Like, can I have one? <laughs> you know, and both him and his mom were just like, no. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I walked out of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship broken, irreparable damage. I was just like, Wow, 
dude's just been eating at my house for a week and you cannot like so I went back to my house which was like it was like a five minute walk okay it wasn't far and I just went hey mum can I have something for lunch and she's like did they not feed you and I was like nope and she's like sure <laughs> you could have something for lunch I'm like thanks weird yeah no we could we could extrapolate from that that like maybe they weren't well off maybe there was no more bacon maybe they would it wasn't like you know maybe there you know there's like there maybe. could be reasons why they said no i mean you don't but remember them kid, saying that to you but no but to my kid brain it was like they there was no quid pro quo there <laughs> i was like well that's the, that's over now mm -hmm. Food is vital for social connection. <laughs> yeah, it was just the way that he kind of like snuck off and went to go get something to eat. It wasn't like he was like, hey, I'm hungry. Do you, you want to get lunch? And like we both went in and it was like, oh, I only have bacon for... If they'd done like, oh, I only have bacon for this um, and I don't really have anything else, I would have been like, yeah, okay. But it was like I had to go in and ask. Yeah. So yeah. Ended a like two or three year year friendship. That stuff is meaningful though, like when you're a kid. Cause you don't like have the capacity to extrapolate out all the different scenarios. You're just like, this feels unfair and sucks. I think it just made me realise that like they weren't really a friend they were just taking advantage of the friendship wasn't going both ways yeah they were just like oh he they took all your pokemon cards they took all my pokemon cards and didn't cards. invite you back over <laughs> oh this is like get everyone mcdonald's oh onster what a saint get them nuggies so india i had an idea which was like in your crow's nest if the camera was like in the middle we could like run around run around the crow's nest and the camera would turn to follow us but i'm trying to think of with the mock-up that you gave me what way the couch should face like should we see the back of the couch face towards like what would effectively be the tv screen so at the point where we're like we're gonna we're gonna play console games the we camera might like flip that might be nice i think think about what a bird and bear would do like, would we, like, tape the TV to the middle of the mast? Or would we, like, stick it to a wall? Would we have it, like, pop out of the ground? Or, like, have it hanging from ropes? Okay. I think it would face this way so that, like, when we're running around, we can kind of see that that's the TV space. And then when we're, like in there the camera switches or something i don't know if you said like what you're building but um i did a little sketch for doig of what i would imagine a nice little stream setup being for him and i playing games together so that he doesn't have to always be small in case he want to co-op something or he wants to take the lead controller and he was like we should have this in a crow's nest and make the crow's nest the gaming room so i think that's what he's he's going for and building now Uh, yeah, let me find it. <laughs> I'm just like, Onsta's like, <laughs> the caption for this that came to mind is just whole dog. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I just posted Onsta that picture of like you're at the thumbnail of you just being like, yes, yes. Uh, here you are. <laughs> Open original. There's a window behind us in your in your mockup, so you gotta gotta keep that in mind. This this is India's mock-up. This is my mock-up. Oh, it's... You can't really see most of it. <laughs> there we go. It's cute, huh? <laughs> so I could put the I could put the window on the far side, and then there's the couch, and we're, you're on the corner, and then there'd be like console in front of us, and the TV screen would be in front of us, but this. 
section would yeah would be it <laughs> there are so many layers i don't i didn't know there was layers is it because there's like the circle in front of sonic I didn't, I didn't get it. It was just a screenshot from the video. Yo, Star Spikes, thank you. Star Spikes, thank you very much for the oh, Sambo. Oh no, it's a Sambo. No. Oh no, the Sambo that you didn't have as a child is here <laughs> to get vengeance. Thank you. Oz says, uh oh. <laughs> Stackies. One sec. Stack them. I'm sure there was more in this in this screen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> my empire yet grows. Look at my sambo. Behold. Behold my sambo. Is this why they're sandwiches? So Doug can finally have friends who give him bacon sandwiches. <laughs> it's too real. It's really just fulfilling it's that gap real. from childhood, isn't it? <laughs> it's too real. Everything on this no. is... Oh, Doig, I really want to play that game with you that you mentioned on the stream. That's like your childhood, the movie maker one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be a blast. We should make some movies on it together. 3D movie? How did you know I mentioned that? I watched a stream with you. You watched my stream. I watched your stream. Oh my gosh. I did. Stop sliding. I can't. Always be sliding. Abs. <laughs> Oops. Pilky, thank you so much for the subscription. Pilky it... says dog enablement. Where did it go? Does Sambo stand for anything in particular? It's a sandwich! A Hambo Sambo! Ham sandwich! That didn't, that didn't appear. Bacon Butty oh. is fun to say. Bacon Butowski! A buddy. Or a Bacon Bop! Bop Bop! Uh, as we say in England, a buoy. A buoy! Bacon buoy with butter! Delightful. Oh yeah, oh groove, oh dance, oh jive, oh go fuck em up with your sweet dancing moves strike a pose <laughs> strike a pose finish them <laughs> yeah 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 ah, da, da, da. motherfucker <laughs> I can the, ti the tiny Swifty just be like Fluxel says Doug Swift you are walk I go Have I slid off the screen No do Jaffa Cakes not work in this room? I feel like they're somewhere else. Are they in here? Controller Are drift is here? too real. It's is it too not working potent. anymore? Did it break? Popcorn's working. Wait, where did popcorn go? What? Why, why is pop... I love popcorn. Why are things exploding? Are the Jaffa Cakes invisible? Yes. Well, actually, the popcorn holder is invisible. Like the, um, the carton. So maybe also Jaffa Cakes? Is the scale being zeroed out? They're invisible. The, it is actually working. It's just being... <laughs> it's just, just being weird. <sighs> no. Come I thought I fixed me. this. But I hadn't fixed it. 
I already have been. There's already like, if it's under a certain amount, it doesn't do anything. I fixed one thing and I broke something else. Ah, the nature of game design. Ben! Ben, I need your help. I've hit a stumbling block. So, you know when, when the bits happen and it does it does the purple bits that are one bit each and the, the, the 50 bits that are the red bits that are 50 bit, bit ones each. Wow. You laughing at me. No. You laughed at me a little bit. No, I didn't. I heard the... Oh. No. I, have, I heard the soft breeze of an exhale. <gasps> well, I was trying to get the bombs to explode, but like have the bits explode and have the right kinds of bits inside of the bomb and my game hangs. And, and wh while I was thinking I might do like a slow motion hit stop thing, I don't want to do it unintentionally. Do you have any advice on how to get a lot of things to spawn all at once in the one place in a, in a logical fashion. I tried to do a, a co-routine and it didn't work. You do actually. How would you do it? How would you structure it? Do you want to see my code? Now is the time when you charge him, Ben, by the way. For your expertise. No. Take all the times Doik has tried to charge other people for his advice and throw it back in his face. <laughs> India, look at this. What is it? <laughs> it's perfect. Oh my god, me. Motherfucker. <laughs> Break it, bitch. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. <laughs> oh, I threw it. I didn't mean to. All right. Fisty cuffs. Fifty dollars. You step into me, I'll step to you. <laughs> Thank you. Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I love that shit talking swifty. <laughs> Are they shit talking me? Fuck it, try it. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. So Ben says, yeah, dog, you spawn things beforehand and set them to be invisible and somewhere inaccessible and then you move them into position and make them visible when you need them. So you, you kind of offload the spawning work into pre-allocating the resources. Huh, okay. But it's... But I, the trouble with that is it's like, could be hundreds and hundreds of bits. But, so could I have like a version of each and then duplicate the versions? Yo, here come the boys. Pilkey redeemed a Chromel. Completely unrelated. How hard would it be for your eventual plushie to have a voice box? Oh Very gosh. fucking difficult since getting a plush itself has been... It's fucking impossible. It's freaking impossible. We've looked into... Swifty has been I've on a quest. I've sent emails... I've kind of come to the conclusion that to do it, we kind of just need to have a bunch of subscribers on YouTube. 
Because no one wants to work with you unless you've got an audience. They just don't. So uh, we've, we've reverted to plan A. Which is achieve 100,000 subscriber, get merch partner. We were working with Makeship and then they dropped us. <laughs> well, and it wasn't just their fault, to be no. fair. Like they dropped us, but also we took a very long time to get the changes to them. Um, and we, the miscommunication was that we didn't realize that we were on a deadline for it at all. Yeah. Um, so we eventually got like, they got, they had, they, the person managing us was like, we have so many um, plushies coming out next year that you kind of be bumped to the year after. Then they just stopped talking to us. Yeah. And then we tried to contact them and they were like, then not they sent responsive. Us spam in the Discord and then they <laughs> removed themselves from our group chat. So it's. <laughs> I, like, I don't want to like I think Makeship are an awesome company though and I think they make really like cool good quality stuff and I would love to work with them like I think it's a real shame it didn't work out yeah me too I think it was on us uh, me specifically for not getting the feedback to them sooner um, but we didn't realize that there was a deadline for it because we weren't told that there ever was so when we were told that um, the prototypes had been are thrown out essentially because it had been a, a, a little while um th like we had no way to know that was going to happen though you got back to them in like november and they didn't get back to us until january yeah but i mean november's a super busy time so uh. i get that like it's the holidays everyone's so taking time off we just have to get bigger so people take notice we've had a couple of people approach us about doing them but they're always kind of like a, l a little shifty and not super reputable yeah um and we just like i don't want to make a plushie if it's not of a certain quality like i'm not interested in doing merch unless it's really nice yeah they probably did a pnl i know what that is now what is it profit and loss sheet okay subathon time <laughs> I don't know if Ness, it doesn't Ness, it doesn't have to be subscribers to Twitch. I think we just need. Um, I think it's YouTube is the main driver for merch deals at the minute, as far as I know, um, because every site I've looked at where they're like actually partner with creatives and make bespoke merch with them, uh, on the application sheet you always have to enter in how many subscribers you have on YouTube. Martina's always got like the cutting to the to the bone advice. <laughs> Maybe it'll upload more on YouTube. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't you write? I, I always it takes... read. I always read Marti Martina's like that that sort of statement with a little bit of a like a knife to the back tone to it. <laughs> Maybe upload more to YouTube. I mean, Martina <laughs> I know, it's is not wrong. Not even there. I just <laughs> she's not wrong. Yeah, get to the point. Sorry, it's fine. I I appreciate it about you immensely. Like, you don't beat around yeah. the bush. You're just like, maybe you should do this. Honestly, right? the bluntness is super appreciated, and like Required. we consider you a really good friend. So we absolutely take like no offense from it whatsoever. It's just like a deserved ribbing, you know? <laughs> Can I say it's because she's Dutch? <laughs> is that right? Yeah, absolutely. The stuff I think is going to do really well on YouTube, though, is probably animated stuff. I and that takes time to make. And unfortunately, I haven't had much of it. Um... I'd love to be able to post some of the boards I've done, but I don't know when I'm allowed to post them. Like Transformers is out. So you'd think I'd be able to post some of my work from it, but I'm not sure. Like I think there's a grace period and I'm just gonna hang fire until I see other people posting. I'm trying to see. Just do shitty five minute animations of blobs. You see, I don't want to do that. It's the same thing as with the merch. I only want to put out stuff that I would want myself. And with the animations, I only want to put out stuff I'm proud of. Is Martin she... says there's a highlight video ready to upload. Yes. And we need to upload that. Absolutely she was correct. Dutch. Sorry. There's a, um, I was watching this show. I think it maybe we put it on Netflix, um, called Fresh Meat, which is about, um, 
university students uh, or college students or something, and it's just like it's their time at university, but they're all awful. And one of their flatmates moves out, and they get a new flatmate, and who is Dutch, and she is just blunt and to the point with them all. But the whole thing of the comedy is that everyone doesn't really say what they mean, and they're all just like they're hor they're horrible people in a group, and she's just like nice. And she just tells them straight, she's like, you're horrible people and I don't want to live with you anymore. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can ask um, the person who I work with in Transformers uh, when to post the boards. I'm not sure they know either. I think it's the kind of thing where someone just has to do it first and then everyone stops and watches for a day to see if anything happens to them. <laughs> and then if it doesn't, then we feel okay to post. I don't know if that's actually the way it works, but that's the way that I often do it. Is I'm like, okay, someone's posted boards, so let me wait and see if they get in trouble. Okay, they haven't. It's probably okay. Thanks, Ben. I got, I got the GPU instancing thing. Thank you. But I'm, I'm hopeful for uh, Christmas time because I'm going to do another one of those little Sonic Brooklyn and the Nine videos because people seemed really into that and I think it'd be fun to do another. Um, so hopefully that'll do well and that might get us a few subscribers. That would be neat. Oh, GPU instancing sounds exactly what I want for spawning bits. I will uh, get these working better by hook or by crook. I will tweak and adjust them until they feel like they flow nicely from one pose to the other. Feeling good! Oh, meshes that have a low number of vertices can't be processed efficiently using GPU instancing because the GPU can't distribute that work in a way that fully uses the GPU's resources. This processing inefficiency can have detrimental effect on performance. The threshold at which inefficiencies begin depend on the GPU, but as a general rule, don't use a GPU instancing for meshes that have fewer than uh, 256 vertices. Um, the bits have six vertices, so I don't. I don't think I should use this method for the bits, unfortunately. <laughs> GPU instancing is the difference between two frames per second and sixty. Wow, but you, you don't have that many vertices either. Uh, side note, I watched some Zarel stream uh, the other day you of did. him working on Monkey Wrench. Uh -huh. And I really appreciate him and his partner ranting about people asking them how many uh, frames per second they use. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, 24! <laughs> he explained it very well, though. Um, he explained it much better than I can explain it. Oh, did he? That's good. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, I use 24 because it's industry standard and because it's divisible by all three, like, usual exposures that you use for your frames. So, like, if you animate on twos, then it's essentially 12 frames a second. If you animate on threes, it's essentially 8 frames a second. If you animate on 24s, you know, then it's 24 frames a second. So if you animate on ones, it's 24 frames a second. People need to stop confusing playback with exposures. What what frame rate do you use is the new which brush do you use? <laughs> For animators. Yeah. How do you get it to look so smooth? Is oh, that, well, you know, the, the spacing's really good. It's the misinformation what? from YouTube. <laughs> it's the misinformation from YouTube animators. I'm saying it right now. Yeah. Some people who proclaim to teach people animation terms get frame rate wrong and it perpetuates this myth 
that animators animate on different frame rates in projects and that's what changes the, the amount of frames that a drawing is held for rather than people animating on an industry standard frame rate and then varying how many exposures they hold each frame for. <laughs> I watched one of the Gartic phones on Ross's thing and someone mentions uh, a, a term for animation and then there's a little text pop up um, that explains what they meant by the term and the explanation is wrong. And it wasn't I, It wasn't frames per second, was it? No. <laughs> Good. It some, I think it was to do with charts. That's a, just a personal pet peeve. And no one who does it is like doing it vindictively like or trying to like be frustrating it's, it's literally just that it's perpetuated on youtube that it's something that it's not and it makes it very difficult to talk about it wasn't outright wrong it was just it had like just, it just had a portion of it that was like um no not quite you are drift you are tokyo drifting I'm, I'm giving up keeping you in the corner Alex says game frame rate and animation frame rate are not the same, but people don't get it. <laughs> Pilkey says, so what you're saying is there's an opening on YouTube for a knowledgeable professional animator to make videos and therefore increase their <laughs> subscriber count. No, there are people on there that do that, that do have like the Tonico, Pantoya. I mean, his stuff's is is on the mark. It's pretty great. Um, except for that one video where he was talking about whether storyboards should be animated. That one can. That one can... No, like, he actually, like, had some good points. I think the problem is just that, um, he used, he used a friend's board as a thumbnail, um, in a way that suggested in the thumbnail that he felt like that was not a board and was over-animated. Uh, which, when you got his opinion in the video, was untrue. But it kind of meant that that... That was it was pull It was, yeah, it was, um, pulling the thread of tr controversy. Um, to try and hook in viewers by kind of throwing that artist under the bus a little bit. Which he absolutely didn't do in the video, just the thumbnail implied that. Which is, it's hard because for people who don't watch the video it just perpetuates that opinion and they make the assumption, oh that must be a video about this. And it's like, but that's not true. I, I would be scared to make, um, to make videos like that though to be honest because i'm not i'm not confident in my ability to communicate succinctly and clearly the <gasps> principles and i'd be worried that i don't have enough experience to be able to tell people uh from a place of knowing as much as some other people might like i can point out what other people have done wrong uh whether i would be able to make um, a video without errors myself, I don't know. Making tutorials is hard. I, I was, I was like, that is enough of a bee in my bonnet that I was tempted to make a video out of spite. Just to be like, hey everyone, this is what frame rate is in animation. And just, these are what exposures are, and this is why the difference matters. <laughs> just make it, how, what frame rate do animators use? And just be like, Best like, frame rates used for animation. Yeah. I'll I'll title it that, and then as soon as people come in, I'll be like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, playing with frame rates is really fun. You know, you can do that, and sometimes I throw my animations on different frame rates for fun to see how it looks at different speeds, because it's an easy, fast way to adjust it once you've already done your animation. And some people do like working on 18 and stuff, which is totally fair. Um, it's just that people asking tend to be confusing it with something else. They tend to be confusing it with whether you're working on twos or threes or ones. To which I say, a mixture is always best. Yeah, but it's because if you reduce the frame rate in which something is presented, you don't have the option to create the in-between frames between those exposures because you're limiting the number of exposures. Yes, you rather reduce than, your options. Yeah, rather than having a constant frame rate, a constant higher frame rate, 
and then varying your exposures within that. Yeah, varying how many frames you hold your drawings for so that you're essentially replicating the effect of having faster or slower frame rates, but you have the absolute flexibility to change it moment to moment within the animation. Like, so if you have 24 frames per second and someone says the animation is on twos, it means that there are two exposures of a drawing. A drawing is held for two frames every time it appears on screen. But if you showed the same animation on 12 frames per second, those drawings would be on ones because they'd be for one exposure per, like... They'd be held for one frame. Yeah. But those, there's only 12 of them per second, as opposed to having them on screen for two frames at 24 frames a second. Difference being that you can then go in and add in-betweens on them if you want. Or have threes, which you also can't have with 12 frames a second. And threes are delicious. Threes are my favorite. Palfour says that's an excellent idea for a video. Oh no, maybe I have to make it. But I'm scared I'll get so much hate from people. No, um, interpolated frames are a whole other can of fish. Yeah, that's, that's a completely different uh, thing. <laughs> Don't read the comments, turn them off. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn comments off, say it's for kids. Turn all the comments off. Make it funny. I could try. I could try and do a noodle and make it really entertaining. I'm a little bit insecure about my ability to be funny. I feel like often when I try deliberately to be funny, I'm kind of cringe. Um, when I'm being kind of naturally myself, I enjoy just chatting and laughing. But when I'm like doing it for a video, it comes across a bit too try hard. I feel like the times I've tried. <laughs> noodle is good. Hey, Ma! Noodle's fantastic, man. Fuck, I love Noodle's videos so much. If you guys haven't seen Noodle on YouTube, go subscribe right now. They're incredible. Yo, it's Yo. a market Toto! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Falfro says egg for egg? I don't know what that means. I want to texture um, this this boat that comes in. Your horror there, pirates. How goes it? Yo, gifted sub, thank you. Onsta gifted a one tier sub to Markadoto. Oh, thank you, Onsta. This is for you. Double heart. What was that? <laughs> Double hot. Double hot dogging. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't know what that means. Is it like when you animate on 12 frames a second? I feel like it is a double entendre. Welcome in, everybody. Yeah, what are you up to, Ma? How are you? Let's show you the goods. Let's show you the goods. Over, Get the on. goods! Over here. Oh! Will this stack on top of my sandwich? Yes. Oh, <laughs> look at my good old Staggy. No, don't knock it. Oh, Chromie almost knocked it over. I'll fuck you up if you knock my tower over. Pilkey says frame rate matters more for interactive content as frame rate also ties into input latency. Very true. For example, to make a graphics tablet feel like a real pen, you need to like 500 to 1000 hertz refresh. But when you're not drawing, you'd get away with one hertz. Yeah, exactly. It's the same for video games, isn't it? You know, frame rate really matters in video games because you need to feel like the controls are super responsive to you. And higher frame rates often therefore feel more responsive because there's less of a delay between the button input and the response on screen. Also, video games have the ability to do that because the computer itself is calculating a lot of the in-between movement for you. It's not being drawn by hand by people. So you'll find that pixel art games like um, Street Fighter and uh, Metal Slug and stuff don't get smoother when you up the frame rate. 
because they have set in-betweens and set keys and everything. Ben says using an example of how ones and twos work is a good way to think about how Unity uses fixed update versus regular update. And the update happens every frame, but fixed update happens 50 times per second instead of the f at the frame rate, so that it doesn't have to calculate physics every frame. The more you know! I wouldn't know. Yeah. The reason our movement is fucked up is because I added an element of fixed delta time to it so that so that when the ti the fixed delta um, stuff slows down, we slow down because without it, we were just moving. We were moving in, I think, a, we were just moving and it wasn't being affected. But now that we do move base with the delta, we're too fast because the values are fucked up. I thought I fixed it though. I thought I changed the values, but I might have not saved it. I don't know. I don't know, man. Look at them go. Look at them go. I'm still not sure that I like this little bit. I might remove this frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. Oh no, now look what you did. Look what you did! Okay, what if I put it back? But then, copy this, pop this here, because I think this movement's too extreme and eye-catching. Marketo says that they finished a wonderful game and they're ready to deflate. What game was Marketo playing? I'm going to assume Marketo might be a, like deflating like a whoopee cushion and flying away. <laughs> That's nice. Have a nice deflate, Ma. No, that's still, still not waking. <laughs> what it needs is, it needs AI the Somnium files. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? I feel like I've heard of it. India, if you had a game console in in your. Uh in your nest what game console would it be it would be a dreamcast yep probably or our own personal games console that we design excuse me our own personal games console that we design da -da -da -da. Cheat it being a different frame by flipping it. No one's gonna know. Now it looks like a different frame. Okay, so let's reduce this by one. We might not even necessarily need that frame. But for now, I'm just going to reduce it by one. I kind of want to make my own game controller. Like, Why not? Sculpt it and like 3D print it. Um, the reason being is since we use game controllers for controlling our puppets, I kind of want to like make a couple more controls into it. I think that would be a really fucking cool side project, dog. I think right? you should. I think because you can totally do that. Like, you could wire it up yourself. I think it would be really neat. Me too. Like, I would do something like I think they maybe do it on on um uh. 
What's the word? What's the word? Animatronics RC controllers. Have you ever seen a trigger that has a little thumb hole hook that you put your thumb into so you can move it both in and out? I would, I would want something like that. That'd be really nice. That would be really nice. I would want like a Nintendo Power Glove. You'd want a Nintendo Power Glove. <laughs> Does that exist? The little, like, little triggers that you can, like, finger hook triggers. Do those exist? Just on anything. They kinda exist. I'm gonna look up an RC controller. Answer says, I think there's leap motion tracking with thin with finger with finger pads. That sounds really cool. What's everyone's favorite game controller of all time? Answer says the power glove was sick nasty. Listen, it's a concept we all wanted to work so bad that just didn't quite live up to the hype. It didn't quite catch on, but we know that we secretly all want a power glove. Dreamcast, heck yeah, on Stir Mine too. Dreamcast superiority. Uh, Xbox One. That's a Xbox um, controller is the one that we always use uh, for our streams. No, Xbox 360 is the one we use. Yeah. That's not an Xbox One controller. I didn't say it was. Okay, I missed I said we then. use an Xbox controller for our streams. Uh, ben said I have a soft spot for the GameCube controller, though I think the PS2 might be best. So many good ones. PlayStation, Nintendo, Switch. The Switch is like... I remember when I first saw the Switch and I was like, I'm going to feel really weird using these two separate things in my hands. And then I started using it. It actually feels super nice and intuitive. Honestly, it says N64 is on there for chewability, but not holdability. I also have a real soft spot for SNES. I kind of want to put a SNES in, in the... A little chunky SNES. <clears throat> like, I can't tell you that their game controllers were particularly ergonomic or nice to use, but there was a, an appeal to that little chunky controller. Apple controller. I don't think I've even ever seen an Apple controller. Sega Master System. Heck yeah. Sega Mega Drive had a nice controller. <laughs> I did not gaslight Doig. What are you talking about? At no point did I say that we used Xbox One controllers. I just said we used Xbox controllers. I'm assuming that's what this is. Uh, Xbox One. That's a Xbox um, controller is the one that we always use uh, there for you our are. streams. No, Xbox 360 is the one we use. Yeah. That's not an Xbox One controller. I didn't say it was. There you go. Okay. I, I said that. we use an Xbox. Right there. You I read say, out the comment. You read out the comment, but I didn't know you were reading out a comment. So all I heard was Xbox One. Yeah, Xbox One. Uh, 
Xbox One, Xbox controllers are the one we use. And I was like, oh, it's the 360. And you're like, I didn't say Xbox. Yeah, one. I didn't specify which controllers we use. I you just said we use an Xbox controller. I know, you, that's why I was just like, okay. I didn't go into it. <laughs> what is that? Look at that. What is that? What is that? Who is she? <laughs> Oh, my tower, no! It's a Sega Saturn 3D controller. Wait a second, what do you mean 3D controller? What does that mean? For the... For the... For the C Sega Saturn CD? Maybe? Wait! Sega Saturn didn't have analog sticks, did it? Clearly did. It only had D-pad, didn't it? Am I bonkers? I thought that the Dreamcast was the first Sega line console to have... A, an analog stick. Wagon wheels controller. It's true. What? Wait, what? What? Why would people choose to use that Sega Saturn controller over a different one? Was it for a particular game? Also says it's for sale up there. Oh, I kind of want it. I kind of want it. It's so weird. It's like the um, the Fancy Star Online. Dreamcast controller with the keyboard on it and it's just this fucking keyboard with the controller either side of it <laughs> This is like how could you ever hold this and play a game? And you get it. Oh I'm so tempted. I kind of just want to put hooks on the walls and decorate it with a bunch of controllers It would be fucking rad What a cool wall display, right? Just get a bunch of hooks and put like a NES controller up there and like a Sega Saturn controller up there. I don't care if I'm a dork, I think they're cool. I love hardware! Game hardware is rad! There we go. Let's see, Willem says, designed to work with nice into dreams, the Saturn 3D pad includes both a control pad and an analog stick for directional input. Playing nights with an analog would have been next level. It would have been much more intuitive. <laughs> that entire game is about making circles. <laughs> yeah. That entire game is about making circles. It's harder with a D-pad. Burn your thumb. <laughs> the, the first layer of skin on your thumb just gone. <laughs> Listen. Oh my gosh. I played the Christmas Nights into Dreams so much. I loved Christmas Night into Dreams. Every time I see it, my heart sets on fire and plunges into hot water and boils. And I am transported back like the hand grabs me by the collar and pulls me forcibly back in time India if you don't stop me I'm just going to recreate the arrangement of the consoles when I first met you I'm not going to stop you I had the most important ones except for the Dreamcast didn't have my Dreamcast there because my Dreamcast is broken You had your, you had your unit and you had your TV and you had the snares on the very top on the right hand side. Also says, Indy, you need this. I gotta have a look at what this is. Sega! Yeah, that's pretty good. I might need that a little bit. That's pretty good. I kid you not. The first time I walked into India's living room um, and saw like her console set up and everything, my, my brain and my heart together were just like, I'm home. Like... Remind me what it is. The one I remember is I have a SNES with one game. <laughs> yeah. Because the console was bought for the game yep. from my childhood, Secret of Mana. Right? It was there. I was like, holy shit, you have Secret of Mana. She's like, you're like, hell That's yeah, I do. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> it was then I knew. What else did I have? An Xbox 360, I'm assuming. I shit you not, I shit you not, those of you that know my dad, um, well not know know him, but like have talked to him online or seen like a playthrough or whatever, you know he's like, you know he's a game, he plays games, he's a gamer. Let's he's go, a gamer. Let's go. 
I said to my dad, this was in like the first month of or, or whatever of like having met India. I was like, Dad, she asked me if I like Secret of Mana. Um, and she's got it. She's got it. And my dad's reply to this wasn't like, oh, that's interesting, son, because you played that as a child. My dad's actual words to me in response to that was, you guys are soulmates. That's what he said to me. That's what he said to me on the phone. And Your I dad was is like, based. <laughs> Because he knows how much I fucking loved that game as a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Base dog all that. Right? He just knew- he was just like, I get it. It might be the one time in my entire life that I felt truly seen by my father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's working a little bit better now. I might decide it's not very soon and change my mind. So, this based on that, I'm putting the snares in our overlay. And I'm putting Secret of Mana in our overlay. Okay, it'll do for now. Though that would get more of a reaction from you. Oh, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, I was, I was um, scrubbing and checking my animation. Oh. I'm putting the snares in the overlay. Onsta says, Injured, look at the grab. Ben found the out. I seen, I saw what you sent, Onsta. That was a thing where I was like, yes, I probably should get that. I probably should get that. I want it. Pilky says you're putting your dad in the overlay. N no, what the snares. It? Oh, wait, the car. Oh, I didn't see that. You're right, Onsta. Thank you. I it got lost. Hold on. This is it. Everybody look at this, please. Everybody look at this, please. This is <laughs> the most usable. The most... It doesn't look like a Dreamcast, does it? That looks a like Game a GameCube. Cube. But the Dreamcast had one like this, I think. No. The Unless Dreamcast I got confused. Just, the Dreamcast just had a keyboard. I don't know. I feel... That's... As someone who owned it, it was just a keyboard. In the no, end. I don't know. You owned it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of you. Did you go online with PSO? Yeah. I fucking hate you <laughs> so much. We could have met. Listen. We could have. If met. I'd have had it online, my parents tried so hard. Bless them. They tried so hard to get me online because they could see I had my little heart set on it. I was so excited. If I'd have got online, we would have met there first. <laughs> Do you reckon? Yeah, a hundred percent. But how would we? We wouldn't. We, 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 we would. Wouldn't we would have the discussion years later because I would bring it up. I'd be like, oh, and I you'd had be this. like, I had it too, and I'd be like, what was your screen name? Yeah. And we'd have realized that we'd played together. <laughs> but now we'll never have that memory because I never got to play it online. Oh gosh. My parents were all ready to set me up on it, but we just could not get the internet working with it. We just couldn't. And I didn't know enough back then about how to set stuff up myself to troubleshoot it. I wonder what the issue was. Me too. Me too. Was it just not connecting? I can't remember. Did you have- I just remember the crushing disappointment of them being like, look, we've tried and we just can't. Did, oh. <laughs> OGY, we tried to play it. We did try to play it online and together. We... I, I thought I was like, let's I'm download this, Doig. <laughs> it was fucking boring. Doig, download this <laughs> X file, this XE. Download it. <laughs> we yeah, we played it. We played the first one a bunch. Uh um and it's fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> when it's just the, you know what it's, it's actually kind of is I have to agree the, with Doug when it's just the two of you and there's like it's just you interacting with someone else the combat does not hold it up yeah once you realize the combat is literally you just pressing A three times in, in a certain timing and that's it did you ever it loses some of its appeal did you ever play the base game not online uh, yes, yeah, I played. Okay. I relentlessly played the base game, not online. And imagine being online and how amazing that would be. Uh, I played it with tears streaming down my face. Oh, Ben loves Fantasy Star Online. Yeah, I love it. 
I love it too, Ben. So much. I still think mics are the coolest thing in the app in the entire world. It was amazing in its time, but if you have like other stuff you could be doing, it's really hard yeah. to justify to yourself why you're why you're running up to something and pressing the button three times and then running yeah. up to another thing and pressing the button three times. <laughs> especially it's really hard to argue it in your own brain. Especially because when we played together, I decided to be uh, one of the rangers, like one of the gun wielders. And like, at least with the blade users, there's kind of interesting animations to tide you through the three button presses. For guns, it's literally just watching your character shoot three times, waiting pressing it three more times, waiting, pressing it three more times, that, that just is on a, and on. Yeah, that is a good point. I mean, I think it gets better. You start to get like more magical powers and stuff later. It does. It does. I'm just going to go and give the boy a little scrumple. Yeah, scrumple him. He's so cute. Kind of mixing the unit that you had, because I think it was glass, the one that used to have. But I'm mixing it with the unit that we have now because, because just cause. Anyway, yeah, I I love it, and uh, sadly, I really didn't like the look of Fantasy Star Online 2, which is the one which perpetuates this day and everyone plays. It just didn't capture the same charm as the first one for me. I love the premise so much of like, hey, there's these people who have left their home planet because it's essentially unlivable on, and they've been sailing around in this big ship that's acted as their biodome for years and now they've found this planet that seems hospitable to to human life and ragu <laughs> ragu <laughs> spaghetti ragu and they they send down you and a bunch of other hunters to check how safe it is uh to see what happened because it's like this weird calamity that happens that like no one knows what it is and to like clear out harmful threatening endemic life around the area but yeah it felt it felt too bright pso2 it felt too bright it felt too anime in a way it felt like sword art online rather than fancy star online honestly if they just like i'd love it if they remade fancy star online the first one completely remade it like upgraded the combat system and everything but kept the design of the world and everything and just like the story and just upgraded all the visuals and uh modernized the gameplay the mystery of red ring rico i remember the mystery of red ring rico and the little what were they called uh the pappies what are they called the little birds uh, there's like a golden one of them that you can get. Rag Rappies! The little Rappies! Wait. Is that... Isn't that like Matt Braley's Twitter handle? Yes. Is and it's also it's... his banner. That That's from Fantasy Star Online. Really? Yeah, you didn't know. I didn't know. Yes. Yes. Matt Braley, a man of culture. Matt Braley, creator of Amphibia, a man of culture. I think, isn't he rad rappy? Yes, but you know what it's from. Uh. <laughs> I've still got the music in my head. Every time I think about it, I hear... Do, 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 do. Like the battle music that it plays when you something scary happens. 
Imagine liking friends to online so much on your email as I play PSO. Hey, I made <laughs> that email specifically to sign on to Fanstar Online 2 because I didn't want to sign on with my work account. And then Google was just like, oh, you finally made a Gmail, huh? Well, I guess this is now linked to every single Google account you have. Yeah, it is a hard game as well. That still makes me laugh. That still makes me laugh. I suspect it's easier when you have friends to play with. Fighting a dragon on your own is pretty tough. Did you ever, like, get through... I, fe I feel like there's an ending to a zone, right? Yes. Did you get get to that? Yeah, I got to the dragon. No, it's not... Is it a dragon? I think the dragon's earlier. Yeah. I thought that's what you meant. No, there's like a... There's a... There's a, there's a place where it's, like, all flurry and meadowy. Oh! Did you, did you get there? No, I, I didn't get very far in the game despite loving it. Ah. Like okay. Ben, I used to just wander around and be in the world and enjoy it. I, oh, I found the game actually very hard. Ah. I was I was also very scared of all the monsters in it. It actually really creeped me out. Like, they all really scared me, all the monsters. Yeah, they're very space mutants in spacey. Yeah. Like those big ones with the big ears that appear in like the second forest zone where it's all dark and rainy and they're huge I got so scared because that game is incredibly atmospheric when you're like 12 and playing it on your own what's EP2? what's this? oh my gosh look at this what is uh, is what? this from Schnoo? Wait. What? Is it? That's Martina. Whoa. Isn't that Martina in front of a computer? <laughs> Looking at a drawing of her. No way. It's That's coming, so... says Schnoo. Oh, I'm so excited. That's so cute. What? What is? What is this? this what is, is this so for? Cute. What is this? Uh, I'm excited. A preview. Martina says, "Wow, <laughs> it's so cool." A YouTube link, Charlie. What? What are you? What are you? What are you? What is this? What is this? Schnoo did a thing. Schnoo did a thing. What did Schnoo do? Shnoo, what are you doing? Hi, little man. And how do we not know about it until now? Enter the Schnooverse. Enter the Schnooverse. How long do we have to wait? You said shortly, like today. Is it uploading? I know the pain. To wait for it to upload, then you have to wait for it to process. I oh, I put a short on our main channel, by the way, and uh, we got a we got a tab for shorts now. Hey, nice job. <laughs> Within a year. <laughs> Pilky says, Is this where Martina takes over the Deutsch with YouTube channel and changes passwords? The Martina takeover. I'm just petting a boy on the butt. Oh, on him butt. He keep meowing at me, so I pick him up and he doesn't purr. He doesn't give me the purr. Oh, you gotta pet him just good though. I tried to pet him just good, but it didn't he work. Aww. Uh, Jedi Silverpunk says your short was great, Doig. Heck yeah, good job, Doig. Doig said thank you. I think says that Doug and Swift didn't know is that Power left two hidden gifts. The second was a Trojan keylogger on both of their computers. You were purring. You were 
purring. He's not purring with you, Doik. He's not purring. Wow. Purring when I him up, oh, look at that. Look at that. He's not purring anymore. Don't say he stopped the moment he got close to me like he hates me. No. He can't hate me. I got up at 5.30 in the morning just to pet him. I deserve his love. You can't go out, Kuma. He wants he he loves a little vestibule outside our uh, our door. There's like we're at the top of a set of stairs, and then there's like a little vestibule where there's our flat and our next door neighbor's flat. And he every time we open the door, he runs out there, and he's become absolutely enamored with it. There's a link. Watch together. Yeah, let's watch it together. That sounds great. I'll just wait for Doy to come back. And then we can all watch it together. It suddenly clicked in the uh, Where is it? When I'm following him sometimes, he goes up against that door and I give him pets. You say it into the microphone, Doig. Don't say it specifically to me. Um, when sometimes when Kuma's like uh meeping and burn and stuff, he'll just he'll just quietly go up to the door, but he's never he's never gone up and then looked back at me with the yearning in his eyes before, so it's never clicked that he's brushing up against the front door because he's like I want to go out because <laughs> he doesn't meow he doesn't he's not like meow or anything at it he's just really quiet and just that little quiet soulful look back at me just now he's just like I want this <laughs> like, give me the world father give me <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna are you gonna um, I guess I'll bring it up and you bet you've got screen. I can hear the sound from your computer and also see your screen yeah all right let's um studio mode screen dog pool do not Uh, you need to bring that thing down, India, if you can. What thing? You put my, the thing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just left it. I completely forgot that I had it up. Um, okay. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and then dog full screen. Yes, here we are. Woo! Look at this, are you ready? Whoa! Look at that chair! That's so freaking cool, it's got boosters on the back! Whoa! That's amazing! Oh my gosh, so cute! <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! It's got, it's got her cake on it! A little bakery cake! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, Martina, you're so cute! <laughs> It's cyber seal. Oh my gosh, it's a cake with the, the glim patch on it. Oh, so cute. A little M's for Martina. This is incredible. This is so cool. <laughs> Martina says, I plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. A little tongue, a little blep. Oh my gosh, the eyes too with the gradient. Ooh. Whoa! 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 That's incredible. The way the eye closes is awesome. I love that. It's got like code running down the back. Of yes. That's super cool. The little glowy cheeks as well. I love the eye style. That's super clever. How are you, is that like a texture UV thing? You gotta ask Shnu for all their secrets. Chromail! <laughs> oh 
my gosh, cute. Look, it's got all seals in the background. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. That's a little mod station. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. <laughs> Martina baked that. It's it's the it's based on the patch. I it like is. that you added it's a so little cool. a little smiley like a smile mouth. A little star on the wheel as well. Whoa. That's oh, what? oh what? What the, the screens move? Whoa. Oh, it's Kiryu rigged. wants to see. <laughs> Kiryu's interested. Damn, look, a little work says she's hovering. No, no. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, that's oh. the coolest thing in the world. Oh, this just keeps going. She can fly around. Damn, that's so cool. It flies, baby. Oh my gosh, Nia Martina, this is incredible. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. Wow. This is so cool. How is Shnu also managed to perfectly recreate the style in which you made my tea? <laughs> like the steam is exactly the same. And the style of what tea? Like my tea that I have in the overlay. Oh. The way that Shnu's done the steam is exactly the same as the way you've done it. Uh, I think Shnu's is better. <laughs> Maybe a little. Little fins! This is so cute. This is absolutely sick, Shnu. This is so cool. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Look at the little eyebrows as well. <laughs> <laughs> adorable the little, little teeth. heart shaped nose little whiskers this is awesome it's got like a feeling of fluffiness about it too like in the way that you've you've shaded the fur i think oh yeah i gotta i gotta ask all for all its secrets yeah that's amazing Shnu. holy guacamole great job oh my gosh I can't wait to see what adventures Martinu is gonna go on. If you if you if you can if you'd like to, if you wanna send me the blind file, I wouldn't I would love to kinda of dig into it. Martina um, says I should try and cut my hair in this style, looking good. It looks good on you. <laughs> what the hell? Is this like uh, it's unlisted? Okay. I was like sorry. Shnu only has like 19 subscribers and spin up cool stuff like this. Is it all just not just you make stuff and unlist it? It's so cool. I'm a subscribe. Done. Ba 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 ba. I'm looking at your video. Metal knuckles. Metal knuckles! Metal knuckles! Metal knuckles, metal knuckles, metal knuckles, metal knuckles. This is my favorite metal knuckles design. Like this is the one that I grew up with and I thought it was the effing coolest thing in the world. Look at this. Look how cool this is. She says, oh yeah, I pleased my childhood with this one. It's very different to the American Metal Knuckles design, but I like it much more, personally. This is mm. my, my favorite. Look at the way they drew Eggman. Look <laughs> at the way they drew Eggman. So good. His little legs. Oh, I can play the music. Um because I was already playing music. You want to mug a little bit, Eggman?
Super cool. Oh, we're not even like, we're only like halfway done. I thought the music was like so cool. Do it's gonna go into an ass solo right now, just a cool ass solo. I listen to this track myself quite often. <laughs> Electric. <laughs> this completes my plan to take over the world. Now begins the glorious era of the Empire of Eggman. <laughs> now go and squash that blue hedgehog, Sonic. Oh my gosh, Pilky says I'm so impressed with how quickly Schnoo can work. This model only took like five minutes. <laughs> Incredible. That was nice. awesome. Thank you for sharing that. There we are. Schnoo says nine hours of building time, fastest I've made a semi-finished piece. Huge time investment, hugely worth it. Amazing. That's super cool. Well, we, we have to head off, Mike. Oh, okay. Because I have to get to work. Okay. And we also have a meeting with Onster that we need to go to. Okay. Um, before it gets too late. I'm cool, cool, cool with that. Okay. Who are we going to raid? Um, who is around? Who's up? Pirate Wait. Software's up. Um, follow. Is it Thor time? Stop. It's hammer time. Pilky says Lady Vignette. She's a great artist. I've not heard of Lady Vignette. Um, let me look them up. We should do your word just in time. I was actually going to finish at 10, but ended up going a bit over. Checking out their vibe. Into the darkness, I disappear. <laughs> oh, Lady Vignette stuff looks really cool. <laughs> also, I invented blinking. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm cool with this recommendation. Okay, let's let's go. Uh, yeah. Slide. I forgot to put this back up. You find her through fan streams and have been enjoying her stuff. Okay, awesome. Let's let's do it. What's Thank good on inside my head? Head empty. Alright, well, thanks so much for being here guys and hanging out. Until next time. 
Uh, yo, Eka, Eka, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, thanks very much. We appreciate it. We try. I want to make them cooler. You'll see. You'll see. I've got the fire now. Shinu's giving me the fire. <laughs> cool. Space Pirate Fenrir is like, hey, look how cool my spaceship is. And I'm like, oh, I want a cool ship. And Shinu's like, hey, look how cool I can make models. And it's like, oh, I want a cool model. <laughs> you could have Fired it all, Doig. Hmm? You could have it all. You could have it all. I want it all. Okay, everybody. Until next time. May the rest of your day be filled with adventure. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye.